The public can hear about Fort Wayne's biggest public works project ever tonight. Fort Wayne City Utilities presenting plans for its massive deep rock tunnel. And Kaitar Pusola has been uh, digging deeper on this historic project and joins us now with the details on that. Kaitor. Brett and Heather, right now city officials are trying to reduce the amount of bad water overflow into local rivers by 900 million gallons a year. That's about 1,300 Olympic-sized swimming pools or more than three Empire State buildings. Expect those changes by 2025. It is the largest project in the history of public works in the city of Fort Wayne. The next phase of the 18-year project to improve Fort Wayne's sewer systems is underway. The Deep Rock Tunnel. Since a national agreement in 2007, the goal has been to reduce the amount of combined sewer overflows into the local rivers from about 71 to 4. Currently, stormwater is overwhelming the city's underwater sewer systems. The combined flow of stormwater and sewage water is ending up in local rivers. To understand the challenge of combined sewers, I'll pour water into this drain. This water represents heavy rainfall. The pipes are now so full that it backs up the system and causes the overflow to go into the rivers. By 2025, the five-mile tunnel along the Maumee River will take most of the combined sewer overflow to a big water pollution control plant. Fort Wayne City Utilities says river quality will improve, basement backups and street flooding will be reduced, and the local economy will be boosted. There is a concern on the part of residents of are the rivers safe to be around? And this project has the opportunity to capture the public's attention so they can begin to see that, yes, in fact, the rivers are safe to recreate on and around. This tunnel, hundreds of feet below the surface and 16 feet in diameter, will have a massive impact on the Summit City. Well, it's going to serve generations to come in Fort Wayne. If you want to learn more about the tunnel project, head to the Unitarian Universalist Church on Old Mill Road at 6 p.m. There will be hands-on displays, a presentation, and a Q&A session with the experts. Okay, thanks, Kaitor.